Welcome to Leisha Today. So today I'm going to be going over with you guys. I received a X-Tool IF2, which is the inline fan. It's the smaller version, the one that I already have. So I want to show you guys a comparison video. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I am going to show you guys the setup. I'm going to unbox it and then I'm going to show you guys basically what the difference is for size wise and I'm just going to show you right now is how I have it set up. So right now I have my X-Tool S1 set up in my garage and as you can see down here I have the inline fan. Um, currently it's the bigger version and I have it venting outside um, like this. So let's get into unboxing the new IF2. So it comes in this box, it's not too big. So let's open it up here. All right. So it comes with some instructions for the safety and then basically if you want to do a wall mounting, it shows you how to do that as well. Oh, cool. So it comes with this. So this is what I'll use to vent it outside of the garage. So this is going to be the piece so that I could connect it to the inline fan. If I can get out of here, let's see. So we have some more pieces here. So this looks like the little bracket if you want to mount it to the wall. And some tools. Alright. So here's the main part here. So we can look at this and you can tell this is way smaller than the one that I currently have. So let's go downstairs and we can do a comparison on the size. Okay, so you guys can clearly see the size difference. I wanted to give you a comparison side by side. So here is the inline filter. This one is the IF2. And then this is the original one I have. It's just the inline um, duct fan. And as you can see, these are significantly um, different sizes. So like if you wanna take up less space, this already is a pro that this one is smaller. Um, another difference between these two as well is the fact that this bigger one comes with a knob where you manually adjust it based off of um, what you feel is best for whatever material that you're working on and whatever settings that you're using. And this one um, comes with, this is of course bigger, but this has an auto feature, which, which I love. So this will automatically put the settings um, for the inline or the IF2. These are both inline fans. The IF2 um, will automatically adjust the flow of the fan based off of the settings that you have um, using your extra creative space when you're doing your project. Um, right now, it's looking like this one is on sale for less than $100, so I'll link it down in the description if you still want to have a cheaper version because this one still works fairly well. I haven't tested this one out yet, but I'm going to test this one today in this video um, to show you guys what my thoughts are on it. Um, I'm going to also go over some more details about the differences um, comparing what is actually listed so you guys can see. Another thing I wanted to point out too is for this inline fan, I had to 
go on Amazon to get fittings. So I had to get this fitting off of Amazon to put on here so that I can attach um, the holes directly from my X-Tool S1. So this does not come with an adapter for that. So if you want your um, the holes that is coming from your S1 that's supposed to vent, if you want that to go through here, you need to get an adapter if you don't want to try to get a different size hose. So that's a con of this one. You have to buy an adapter for this. Um, another thing I found too is the hose. This one came with the hose and the connector piece, but it's such a big hose that you also had to make sure if you're going to be venting it outside of your workspace, be it in the house, the garage, whatever, you also had to buy the right type of vent that would fit the size of this hose. So let's see when I set this up if I'm going to have to do anything special like that. But from what I'm seeing too, um, the hoses are pretty much the same size. So let's go grab the hoses so you guys can see the difference in the size there as well. Okay, so this one is the hose that will go out from the IF2, and this was the hose that went out from the um, inline fan, the original one from X-Tool. Um, so you also just had to, there's a big size difference here. Um, when I had this up in the room, we got it to work, but it just took up a lot of space. So as you can see, just this whole system itself takes up less space. Yes, this one's bigger, but the plus from this is that it's a auto adjuster for your fan. You don't have to manually do it like this one. Um, so again, for this one, you can literally just take it out of the box and be able to hook everything else, everything up with what's included in the box. This one, you needed to get some extra accessories to be able to fit it for the purpose that you need it for. So like I said, again, I will link the um, fitting that I got for this one so that it can link directly to the S1 and the video here. And I will also link this one that's on the Black Friday sale as well as link um, this one that is also, I believe, on the sale um, on Xtool's website. Um, so let's get into hooking it up here. Okay, so looking at the directions, the first thing you want to do is you want to attach your smoke exhaust pipe um, of your Safety Pro IF2. Okay, so since my hose already has this part connected to it, I'm just going to connect that directly on here. I'm going to put that on there. Get it on there snug. And then I'm just going to keep rotating it until it gets all the way up there to the top to where I know that it's tight on there. Okay, so then that part's connected. So what you want to do is you want to go to the one that you have. So right here, I have the X-Tool S1. So they're telling me to use this attachment. If you have um, the M1, F1, or the P2, etc., then you would use this one. So basically, this one would be for like your your M1, your F1, and based off of step two on here, this one will be the one that you need to use to connect to your S1. So let's get that connected. Okay, so now I'm gonna get it set up to the S1. So as you can see, it's already much smaller, taking up much less space Okay, so I'm gonna get you guys a close up of how I connect the S1 pipe to it. So then you need to get your piece that has airflow in, and then you're gonna put that on the side right here. You're gonna put it in there, and on here it has like a rotation to where you can lock and unlock it. So you just put it in here and you rotate it until it locks in place, like that. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw that. So basically, 
you can rotate this way. It has unlock this way and lock right here. I don't know if you guys can see. So that's how you can take it out. If you wanna put it in, you're gonna put it in this way and twist it until it locks in place there, okay? So that's how you do that. And then now we're just going to connect the, the one that's coming from my X tool. Let's see. So what's next is we're going to connect the, the um, duck fan that's coming from my X tool S1. So you can see here, we're going to connect that to this. Okay, so like I said early in the video, so you're gonna connect this part. So this is this is the um, the hose that's coming directly from the S1. So you're gonna take that other piece. So remember, I told you you had this piece for the S1 versus this piece for the P1 M1 whatever. So you're gonna take this piece, and then you're gonna connect it onto your S1 by rotating it. Make sure you have the, the right direction. So basically, if I'm holding the camera, you're gonna twist it towards yourself until you can't twist it anymore. So that seems pretty snug. And then I'm gonna try to pull it off and it's not coming off. So that's how we know it's good, okay? And then you're gonna just add it straight onto here. You don't have to use any of these for this one because this part fits directly on there. And this part's just, um, basically um, tightens on here by screwing it on there kind of clockwise. Okay, so we're just gonna connect this here. And again, just put it on there, push it as much as you can until you feel like it's on there tight. And then that's all you gotta do to set that one up. It came with all the parts that you need it. You don't need to get any extra stuff off Amazon. So that's another pro, all right? So let's set it up to do a test run. All right, so the last thing it tells you to do is to get your, what is it called? This to set up your wireless connection. So you'll just plug this into the back of your um, tool uh, engraving machine that you're using. So mine's the S1, so I'm just gonna plug it into the back here. So I wanted to show you guys, so this is my um, vent that I have going outside. And of course, I always think ahead. So I always thought about, okay, so what happens if I need to connect a smaller hose? So if you guys follow my other video where I bought this specific kit, it came with another piece for smaller um, hoses to be hooked up to. So I don't even have to buy another kit. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So now I'm gonna hook this up so that it can vent outside and then we'll do the project. So boom, just put that piece on and I'm gonna connect my holes and we're off. Okay, so it's all connected here. All right, so it's all hooked up and plugged in. So how you turn it on is you, there's a power button right here and it looks like you can manually adjust it if you want. So there looks like there's a A for auto. So it's on auto right now. So you can push this auto and then there's one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's see how it works with the auto adjustment. Okay, so I'm gonna be working on a wood project because that's the one that seems to produce the most fumes for me. So that's the one I'm gonna be working on right now. So I have it set to auto. So let's gonna, let's see if it's just gonna automatically just pick up from here. So I'm looking down here to see if the fan is on and it looks like it's saying that it is on right now. I can barely hear it, so I don't know if it's because right now it's just doing the engraving, so maybe it doesn't take that much of the power. Um, so we'll see if it, once it gets to the part where it starts cutting, we'll come back and see um, what that looks like. So as you can see, it's cutting it, and you can see that the fumes, you can see the fumes. So 
So it says it's on auto. Um, I just kind of want to see if I change it, can I make it go higher? So I put it on four, and four is very loud. You can hear it. So I don't know if it's on auto and it's not it wasn't sucking out the fumes. As you can see, when I put it on four, even though it's louder, you can clearly see that those fumes are not um, accumulating in there. Before they were like very, very all over the place. And usually I have my, the other inline fan on here on the highest setting. I just always put on the highest setting and I, saw, I still saw the smoke fumes from here. You don't see no smoke fumes at all. So yes, that's another pro for this. However, I can't say that I know how to use the um, this one 100% yet because I would think the auto would have put it on a high setting just because I have it on uh, they fast wood in extra creative space. So I don't know if maybe it just didn't connect that this is wood. But either way, with it on the high setting, there is no smoke. And I barely smell anything. I'll come back with you guys when you make and hear me better because this one is kind of loud. It's, it is actually louder than the um, other one. So that's a con. So while that's finishing up, so I just wanted to tell you guys. So on the high setting on this IF2, as you can tell, it was very loud in there. Um, it was louder than my um, the one I have here. The... Um, this one however it makes up for the added noise for the efficiency of getting that those smoke fumes out because like i said with the current one on the current one that i have the highest setting was a little bit less noisy but it did not extract the fumes as well as this one is on the highest setting so i really like that um, I feel like that is a pro con would be the noise, but I feel like it canceled itself out because it is actually taking away those fumes more efficiently. So I really like that. So you can see the fumes in the back, but as you can see, they're not coming up here to the front. So that means that it is sucking it out from that back part. So you can't eat it. It's not even coming forward to the front which I very I like all right so my product or my project is all done and there you have it like I said um yep it still came out just as good so like I said it's um I don't know about the auto setting on here so I'm gonna have to see about if I have it set up correctly um, but me putting it on the highest setting on here. So let's see. So this is one, which is pretty much, it's a, I feel like it's a little bit louder than the other one, but it's a different si sound. This one's two. This one's three. And then this one's four, which to me is very loud compared to the other one. But like I said, I feel like it works more efficiently. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Take care. Stay blessed.